Welcome to the Daily Roundup for Day 15 of the 2015 NCAJ Futurity. Yesterday, the Will Rogers Memorial Complex was filled with cutting horse action as we wrapped up the non-pro competition in the Coliseum and jump-started the amateur go-rounds. In the non-pro, a 219 was the magic number that sent two riders and three horses to the top of yesterday's leaderboard. Lance Cooper of Weatherford, Texas, hosted the first one in the second bunch of the day aboard Light Waves by Light Molina out of Little Copycat 072. Cooper of Weatherford, Texas, came back in the eighth set to deliver another 219, this time on Smart Little Bundy. Preceded by a 219 and a half in the first go, this duo heads to the non-pro semifinals leading the pack with the highest composite score, a 438 and a half. Smart Little Bugly is by Smart Royal Ray and out of Smart Little Katrina. Armando Castaneto and Super Sarah's Boon ranks number two in the non-pro composite with a 217 and a half also marking a 219 in the second go. Super Sarah's Boon is by Mr. Boon's Ball to you and out of Sarah's Super Cat. Two sets of amateur riders took to the pin yesterday and saw Aaron Russell of Fort Worth top the scores on CR Boon to be tough by Woody be tough out of CR April Boon with a 215 and a half. Just as the competition came to a close in the Coliseum yesterday, the open and non-pro competitors of the NCHA World Finals geared up to deliver more electrifying performances in the WAD arena. Topping the non-pro for the second time was Brandon Duferina and Purple Rain, this time with a 223. In the open, the scoreboard swelled with high scores and saw current world leaders Matt Gaines and Special New Baby deliver a 228 and a half performance to lead the round. CR Sunrays and Boyd Rice posted a 228 to tie with Skip Queen and TGI Playtime for the second highest mark of the evening. Earlier in the day, four sets of top 15 horses and riders in other divisions brought their very best as they wrapped up the second and final rounds for their divisions in the World Finals. In the $15,000 novice, Elgato Benito secured the title with rider of Mike Woods after finishing the year off with a total of $43,267. The gelding, owned by Michelle and Jeff Lemaster, had prior earnings of nearly $131,000. Now, you've had an extremely successful year and world finals. You brought 16 horses here to compete. Tell us about your year. Uh, 16 horses and everywhere I've gone everyone's like what how many horses did you bring here and um, so we've we've had a lot of horses on the road it's tough but it's a lot of fun a lot of great clients and um, we've done very well uh, 16 horses all in the top 15 of I have a horse at least one horse in every class in the 35,000 non-pro Tessa Button and Smooth and Mighty by Smooth as a Cat maintained their lead after cutting to a 220. The pair came to Fort Worth with just over $17,000 and sealed the title with $19,465. I don't know if it still hit me or not yet. When I walked out of there, I just I was just like, wow, the year's over. Yeah, because I've been walking to the herd with pressure on me all year. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I want to try and win the world. I want to do this. I want to do this. And then today it was like I just walked to the herd and I was like, it's already done. It was a deep breath. <laughs> Michelle Barnes of Idaho showed her horse timely addition by one-time Pepto to a 227 in the $5,000 novice non-pro yesterday to secure top honors and a world title. Two cut to a total of thirty thousand three hundred and five dollars this year, with almost four thousand dollars of it being earned in That horse, I mean, when the crowd got louder and louder, he just went. Yeah. He just got better and better as the run progressed. So, and maybe as a rider, you relax too. So, um, 
Because when the buzzer went off, I didn't know the buzzer went off. Everybody was yelling so loud. You know, it was really exciting. Very exciting. Ashley Bozak from Arizona was crowned the 2000 limit rider in CHA World Champion after she swept the standings by more than a $7,000 lead. She rode to Cheetah's Brigalina to a total of $17,585 this year. Beginning of the year, it wasn't, we weren't real sure how she was going to be. Um, but she's came around and she's been a great horse and I'm very lucky to ride her and show her here. The action continues until December 12th in downtown Fort Worth, Texas.